This video is an introduction to the first iteration of memory system modules for VCB Rack. I'll demonstrate a few examples of how they can be used, but first off, here's a few tiny examples of the sounds that they can produce. At the moment, the memory system consists of four different modules. Unlike most VCB modules, these are completely useless individually. They aren't even doing anything in this state. Their power comes from grouping them together into memory ensembles. Here we see the four modules. There's memory, which is a length of audio recording memory. Currently this is 15 seconds worth, although you can easily change that. Then there's embellish, which is used to write to or change a memory. There's ruminate, which plays the content of a memory. And finally, there's depict, which shows the contents of a memory and also the positions of the embellish and ruminate within the ensemble. Let's see the simplest possible example of an ensemble. It won't be musically exciting, but it should make clearer what's happening. When these modules are placed next to each other, left to right, the lamps at the top light up indicating that they are part of a working ensemble. The order of modules in an ensemble is of very little consequence with one exception. The memory module is always in the leftmost position. Note how putting a module to the right of it does not light the lamp. The other rule about ensembles is that they have exactly one memory module. You can have any number of the other modules in an ensemble, including zero. Now I'll just stick these four into an ensemble. I have a simple single channel melody being played by the modules to the left here. Let's hear that for a bit. Okay, now I instead connect it to the ensemble so that you can see it starts recording that. And now I get the output of the ruminate. Let's listen to that. Okay, like I said, not really more interesting, but let's look at Depict. Note how the lamps on the top of some of the modules have a color. On the Depict, the line of that color is the position of the module with that lamp color. The embellished lines are always drawn from the right edge of Depict's screen. The Ruminate lines are drawn from the left edge. And the other end of the lines suggest which module it is. Okay, let's move on to a more interesting ensemble. So here we have a different arrangement with a different kind of ensemble. Uh, over here on the left, you have three different guitar samples. Uh, we're going to use that as the inputs uh, instead of that synthesizer patch we used earlier. Uh, these are guitar samples that Mark Wiedenbaum recorded. Let's hear those. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to take that first one and use a sound on sound technique to start recording it onto the memory. So you can see it's starting to record now. Uh, what we're putting into the mixer is we're taking that guitar sound, whichever one we selected, and also taking the sound that's underneath, that already exists uh, on the depict, on the memory, and putting in that in slightly lower and taking that result and recording that. Let's hear what that sounds like. So that's one playback head, but let's add some more. That one's at half speed, so it's an octave lower. is two octaves lower and playing in reverse. And then this one is playing at double speed and it's also bouncing against the ends of the memory so you get that sort of reverse effect. So now let's change which sample is being added. Start 
start to hear that slowly come in. Now we'll try the third sample. Here we see something a little different. This is the group on the top, most of the time it's doing nothing. Over here on the right though, we're taking whatever signal we get and replacing it with the sound of that going through two delays, each at about a half a second, slightly different on the left and right. And it's just sort of replacing whatever it finds with this. So it's one, the first embellished head is doing adding a little bit of square wave and the blue one embellish head is adding converting that through what it gets from the delay i'm going to skip ahead a little bit and let you hear some of the interesting places it gets to example of using the memory modules. Over here on the left, again, we have three guitar samples that we used earlier. We'll just start recording them onto the memory here. And this time we're gonna play around with the position settings that we use. So here I'm just attaching it to a knob. You'll notice the blue playback head of Ruminate. As I move it back, it starts playing once I start stop changing it. You can also do the same thing with the adjust slider uh, on the module itself. Now, this is pretty uh, crude to do this manually. So we can also hook up uh, a module to do this. And in this case, it's uh, my, one of my other modules, Drifter. Now, you can see the blue Starting them playing, starting them playing. Well, we're going to turn up the speed though. And now there's a nice sort of simple rhythmic thing going on. And it's slowly changing as the memory is getting written to in the sound on sound technique that we've been using in some of the previous examples. I'm going to randomize the positions a little bit.
lastly, I want to demonstrate a technique that uses two memory ensembles. Uh, this is actually recording, as you can see here, from an actual uh, audio device, uh, in this case, a synthesizer, a hardware synthesizer. And what I'm going to do is, so over on the right, I have this basically patch that takes, uh, knows when the synthesizer is being played and uses that to record whatever the incoming audio is onto one memory ensemble and then that memory ensemble is being added in the sound on sound way that we've been doing it uh, into a separate uh, memory module over here and let's listen to that it's an odd technique for playing but uh, you once you get used to it it's actually kind of interesting so here I am you can't hear it because you're not listening to it uh, a simple chord You can hear that getting slowly added to the memory we're actually listening to. And now I'm going to play a low chord. You can add modulation. sound getting built up. And at least the way it's done here, we get this very atmospheric buildup of sound. bend on that one note and yeah, that's going to be there for a while. So that's interesting. I'm going to wipe both of these memories. Uh, but there's another technique that comes to mind, and so right now we're playing whatever was last recorded at the same speed, always at the one speed. Here I'm just recording a single note, a single C note. And it's getting added in there. But one of the things that uh, features that Ruminate has is that uh, so all VCB rack modules have a randomize function on it. It's the control R and or some variation of that. It's in the menu for it. This randomizes the controls on it, but for Ruminate it actually especially deci decides to only pick just intonation speeds. In conclusion, these are just some of the many possible techniques that the memory system modules allow. Uh, if you come up with anything unusual or interesting, please drop me a line and let me know about them. Uh, perhaps I'll be able to include them in a future video. There are links to all the patches that I showed uh, in this video in the description below. Thanks for your attention, and I hope you'll give these modules a try.